Good morning, Stay Road students and families. Welcome back. Today is Monday, September 28th. It's a great day. It sure was a great weekend. We're going to get started with this week's virtual announcement. So if we can all please rise and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. We'll place our right hand over our heart as we begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And again, today, I will be safe, be respectful, be responsible, and do my personal best. Absolutely. I know you all did and will this week. Do your personal best. Look forward to that. This weekend, wow, what an awesome uh, uh, day, several days of great weather. Cooling down a little bit this week, some chances of rain, but still looks like a typical fall in Michigan this week. Chance of rain, 50s, 60s, uh, still looks pretty good to me. Definitely can get outside still and get some activity in outdoors. All right, we are moving on. This is, <laughs> there's probably no better P2 character strength this week than teamwork. We'll talk a little bit more about that as we move into returning to face-to-face -face instruction. And it certainly is going to take a team uh, to, to make this happen. So uh, teamwork, you work well as a member of a group or a team. You are loyal and sacrifice your individual desires for the greater good. That might mean I'm going to make a, a pass to my teammates so that they score the goal because they might have an easier shot than me trying to, to make it all happen myself. Uh, in the classroom, you're going to share supplies or something else with somebody. You're going to work together. You're going to share ideas. Uh, you're going to compliment somebody for having ideas or even ask them to contribute as you're working with, a, with, with teammates. And that could be a small group in the classroom. It could be a sports team. It could be uh, working together in a band or a choir because you all have to work together to, to create something. So a lot of different places we can work as a team. Uh, no bigger team than this village that we call State Road. And we are certainly going to ask for all of our community members here to work together as a team, especially as we move into this week of returning to face-to-face -face instruction on Thursday, which we are super excited about, and we'll talk more about in a little bit. So the definitions right there, some examples of teamwork, but we certainly know what that means, and it is a super strong character strength that we're excited to talk more about in our daily lessons, whether we're TVA or face-to-face. -face. All right, moving on, uh, we talked about face-to-face -face begins Thursday. These uh, uh, little screenshots here are just the different topics that were covered in the newsletter that I sent out last Friday to all families. If you missed that newsletter in the email, it's available right here in the slide deck. Please click on that link. It is full of information. Again, the longest newsletter I've ever created by far. It's full of information. I know it's long. But this isn't just stuff that we're providing and that you can kind of skim through. There are so much valuable information that talks about health screening at home before you even send your child to school, talks about what facial coverings are allowed. And again, we can wear typical masks, like we've got some Fenton masks, your typical cloth masks that you might find uh, at the store. Uh, and and I'll, you, a lot of days I might have my gator on. Gators are allowed. We just have to make sure that we are always covering our mouth and our nose. This doesn't count. It's got to be covering our mouth and our nose as we are wearing our facial coverings. Uh, we're going to tell you, I'm going to talk about what cohorting means in that newsletter, as well as this virtual open house that's going to be sent out. Here it is. Well, I get my, I'm stuck here. There we go. This virtual open house. That's going to be sent out as a link on Tuesday. So tomorrow. You're going to get a link to our virtual open house. It's going to be me talking a little bit more, uh, giving a tour to any of our new families that, that uh, haven't been to State Road, the building before. And then it's going to have a link to every teacher. So you can go find the link for your teacher and he or she will provide a quick welcome and introduction to them and their classroom for you as well. So 
hopefully have, have an idea for all of our families of what the, what the building looks like, where we're heading, and what some of these new policies and procedures are that we are, are going to travel through as a team starting on Thursday. Uh, the big thing coming up is uh, for our kindergarten families only. These are our five and six year olds that have never been to this building before, didn't have a chance over the summer to visit, and did not have an open house to see the building. We are opening it up to just our kindergarten families uh, this Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, I think alphabet letter, last name A through M is Tuesday from three to five and N through Z is Wednesday from three to five. One parent per student, facial masks are mandatory. And it's just a quick uh, enter the building, make sure adults take that health screener first, enter the building, get used to which direction that your son or daughter is going to go down to find their classroom. Uh, I'll be there to help assist and an answer any questions that you have. But again, we wanna relieve some of that most probably more parent than student even, uh, some of that nervousness that we have as, as parents with our sending our little ones off to school. Uh, we certainly understand that and wanna welcome you uh, the best that we can during this time so that they can see where their classrooms are at. All right, so all that information again is in that newsletter. This is probably old news to everybody that read that on Friday or throughout the weekend, but wanna make sure you have access to that. You understand how we are dropping off and picking up students, those types of things. We're continuing Walk Across America. That link is either in your Google Classroom still. If you're face-to-face -face Google Classroom, our TVA, it will be emailed out again, but keep logging those miles. I've had some parents email uh, to make sure that they were getting the link because they're, they're, uh, they're actively participating. We're super excited about that to see where we are traveling and who's gonna make it to the next capital first so uh we we know all of these expectations i put them on there just for a gentle reminder to keep being awesome while you are on your zooms make sure we're on time make sure that we are being polite and respectful we're muted when we aren't speaking and we're not making distracting faces or other things while we are being instructed by our teacher or while other students are talking all right keep up the great work NWA is almost over. A lot of us have had an opportunity to already take it. I want to remind, though, that our parents are only there to help the log in our students. This test is designed for your child to get half of the answers wrong. You need to encourage them that it's okay that they don't know the answers. Again, if they don't know the answers, that's a good thing. That means they've been asked some pretty difficult questions and now it's asking them really hard questions that they shouldn't know so that it can determine the level uh, of where it's gonna set them at. Okay, so again, they have to get about half of the questions wrong. So when it starts asking them those difficult questions, it's okay. Please don't guide them, don't read it for them, don't suggest anything. We need to know what they, uh, where they are at, not where the parents are at, okay? Final reminder on that. Uh, all of our students, I'm hopeful, will have completed that even before we return face-to-face. -face. So we'll see how that goes. Some of us in our upper grades may not, and that's okay. All right, food service, quick links right here. Uh, you know the, the newsletter's there. We still have uh, uh, virtual meal pickup information. That waiver that all children are free is available there. So anything uh, that you need about that is available on the slide deck. But again, our students who are coming back face-to-face We'll have typical hot lunch available here at school starting Thursday. Help desk link, you know what that is. Uh, it's there and available if you have any questions. Continue to use that for any technology needs. Again, we return to face-to-face -face this Thursday. We're super excited about that. It is a full day of school. So this Thursday and Friday are full days of school. I'll remember what those were. I just passed the slide. Uh, next Friday is a half day of school for students. We've got some professional development uh, time in the afternoon for our staff. And then the following Friday is the 16th of October. That will be no school for students and staff. We've got some uh, virtual parent-teacher conferences that week in the evening, so we'll have no school on that Friday. Teachers will send out information to uh, our parents about those virtual conference evenings. 
So again, this is probably for a while my last virtual announcements. Uh, everything else will be sent out kind of like my Friday s'more. My newsletter will be provided to families. And then any other additional information will be just sent out by a, a brief email. So I, I look forward to actually seeing my students. I cannot wait for Thursday to see our students in the building, in the classrooms, uh, as, uh, as normal as possible uh, for throughout this time right now with some of these restrictions we we'll still have in place. It's okay. We're excited to have them and can't wait to see everybody on Thursday. Please make sure we really pursue this uh, this new way of learning, this new way of school as a team, as a village, because it takes a village to raise these children. We need everybody working together as a team. Uh, one person that doesn't follow the rules doesn't make it right for other people to follow them. We want to make sure we all stick together, follow the rules that we have in place for the safety, health, the safety, health, and well-being of all of our students, staff, and families. We look, look forward to Thursday. We look forward to seeing your students. Have a great week, and we'll see you soon. Take care.